MFR Off-Road Rider back with another video I'm uh, in the town I live in gonna cruise around a little bit show you guys some of uh, the town I live in uh, yeah let's go check it out I'd like to thank all my viewers and subscribers for watching my videos this makes uh, 101 videos I guess yeah and uh, yeah, and a big shout out to o Oki Outdoor Life. Uh, he subscribed to my channel. Just a big shout out to him. If you get a chance, check out his videos. So yeah, let's go uh, check out the big town of Fortuna, California. In Northern California. I'm headed up this road. Uh, to our local golf course but it's it's not it's not a public golf course it's actually a private I used to be a member a long time ago it's pretty pricey but uh, it's in a really nice golf course I just wish they'd make it public or I tried to join a little while ago and uh, they weren't accepting new members so so yeah it's it takes uh you got to get on a list a waiting list to get on it so it's an 18 hole golf course pretty nice but uh like i said the waiting list is quite long yeah i got uh 1763 miles on the old TT 250 and I've enjoyed it enjoyed every mile so you're looking to get one you ought to check it out you'll have to you'll have to pre-order though but but it's well worth it if you ask me for the price I had a guy come up to me and ask me what it was the other day and I explained to him and everything and told him a little bit about it and he was going to go check it out on YouTube so so yeah if I can remember where this place is it's been a long time since I've been up here there's a lot of nice houses up here too of course you know on a golf course you would figure that uh that it would be that way. I must have missed the turn to the golf course, I think. Yeah, I did. Dang it. It hasn't been a while since I've been up here. I must have missed the turn. I'm up to 115 subscribers so yeah I kind of slowed down a lot but uh that's the way it goes sometimes like like uh, they were saying uh, somebody was saying the other day that uh, you know the things are starting to open back up and stuff and uh, people are uh, people are uh, going back to uh, doing things you know they're not stuck home and stuff so so yeah so I'm not discouraged though you know because it's just a slow time for subscribers I guess so so yeah uh, this is the golf course right here I'm just gonna turn around the parking lot but yeah this is it right here pretty nice place they have a swimming pool and a restaurant and a bar pretty nice place but uh but yeah I'm not getting discouraged about the subscribers you know I'm just doing it for fun like I said in all 
quite a few of my other videos so I'm not really worried about it you know if they come they come I'd rather have less subscribers uh, and everybody watching my videos then uh, have a bunch of subscribers that people don't you know watch your content or comment or give you a thumbs up or whatever you know so so yeah I'm I'm happy with it you know I, I didn't figure you know I'd get as many as I have you know I just did it as kind of a trial or you know uh, just to see what would happen so And I'm uh, I'm happy with it, you know, like for what I do and how much time I spend on uh, the videos. I don't spend a lot of time editing, like I said before, but I do enough, you know. I try to keep the quality and the audio good, you know. So I mean, I could spend more time, but you know, like I figure until you're really getting way up there in uh, subscription subscribers and everything that uh, it's just uh, a lot of time you know when you could be out making content instead of editing your videos at home so that was the golf course I still got to get me a watch or clock where I can mount somewhere probably on my handlebar somewhere uh, so I can see how long my videos are without stopping to look at, at my uh, GoPro see how long I've been recording for but yeah I am uh, like I said I am starting a new job here in uh, May 3rd I think it is it's gonna take uh, a lot more of my time uh, as far as days I work and hours and stuff so so I'm probably going to be doing videos on uh, either Saturday afternoon or Sunday morning because those are the only days I'm going to have off starting in uh, middle of May probably or whatever. Uh, I'm going back to driving big rig, uh, hauling logs. So, so yeah, uh, career change uh, again. Uh, I've had my... Uh, had my class A license since uh, since 2001 I haven't really hauled logs out of the woods I've hauled logs before but uh, but uh, not out of the woods you know so it's gonna be a new experience plus I'm gonna get a chance to uh, maybe learn to run some uh, heavy equipment loader you know uh, loaders and uh, bulldozers and things like that so it'll be good you know to learn those kind of things I'm looking forward to it it'll be a nice change this is Roanville Road it kind of out it kind of skirts the outside of outside of the town you know uh, goes around the outside on the east side of the town but uh so now we're gonna go on south loop road kind of makes a big loop but I'm gonna take you up on top over there over there and let you look at see if I can get a good view from up there overlooking the, the town I live in bar pad always covers up my blinker so I've been driving down the road with my blinker on
Yeah, I was surprised. I actually went to, uh, well, I'm not surprised, but I went to uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts the other day and uh, took my uh, spark plug in and they had the exact one for the TT. So if you're ever looking for uh, the spark plug for this bike, they got them at O'Reilly if you have one in your town. Yeah, I gotta go uh, look for a truck tomorrow on my my uh, my pickup decided to die not really die but the motor started making a noise and it's got like uh, it's got like a knocking or something so I'm gonna have to go look at uh, new pickups I'll tell you what not brand new but new used to me but uh man i tell you what they sure are expensive oh my god you like and a guy I was telling one of the salesmen i talked to was telling me that there's a shortage of uh four by four pickups you know full size and like you know the to toyota tacomas and the nissan frontiers and chevy colorado stuff like that finding them in you know, four-wheel drive is is hard to find so and uh, he said the prices have gone way up like he goes to auctions to buy some of his vehicles and he says he said the auction uh, the auction houses are almost selling the car the vehicles the trucks the 4x4s for uh, retail because there's such a shortage so that makes it you know more expensive for the consumer you know like so yeah, I was shocked on some of the prices and the mileage, like some of the Tacomas, Toyota Tacomas I saw, oh my God, like over 250,000 miles, they still want 16 grand for them, you know, 17 grand, like it's ridiculous, it's crazy. I know, you know, Tacomas and things like Toyota Tacomas and Tundras, they're super reliable and you can, you know, put over 300,000 plus, you know, but my god, like it's a lot. They're charging a lot for a lot high mileage pickups. Tacomas. And you see a lot of Toyota Tacomas around. Speak of the devil, there's one right in front of me. But yeah, uh, so I'm staying away from the Tacomas because they're too pricey for what, you know, for me. They're overpriced, but I guess you can't really put a price tag on reliability, but there's a lot of other uh, small, smaller trucks, mid-sized to small, you know, out there that don't have the big price tag, but yeah, this is the new uh, construction up here. They're adding houses right and left here. Some of them are right on the hill here, and they had to some of them were on the market and uh, we had a you know big rainstorm and I guess they didn't uh, block the bluff up very good or whatever but uh, I'm gonna go take a look at that I'll show you guys I'll show you this like the bluff kept falling off you know it eroding or whatever so yeah If you can see, <laughs> yeah, it keeps falling off. Some people lost a lot of real estate along here because uh, it fell, it fell off, it slid off like landslide. So yeah, they had to redo it a couple times. They put plastic down to keep it from eroding. But yeah, this is the Eel River Valley here, and then Fortuna, and then you could look over in the distance. That's Ferndale over there. And the airport's up there on top of that flat. But yeah, it's a pretty good view from here. I mean, if you if you like views, you know, it's pretty good. Not too bad. All right, let's go check out some more sites. Yeah, they're gonna build a house right here. I guarantee it. Let's go this way. 
I don't even know what these houses are going for, but I don't think I'd want one along the bluff because they've been having a hard time keeping that bank from falling off. I just made the loop up around uh, this hill, that hill there. It's Riverview Terrace, I guess, yeah. Like I said, if you want a house with a view, that's probably about the best one. And except up over there, there's a place called scenic drive that's uh it's pretty uh it's up on the hill and you get a good view of the city as well or town you got the uh softball fields slash soccer fields right here and then they had a BMX, kind of like a BMX track, uh, just a thing for the kids to play around on. They don't, you know, they don't have competition or anything on it. It just, just a place for the kids to go ride to get off the street. <coughs> Excuse me. go up this hill you got a pretty good view of the Rancho Buena Vista a lot of real expensive houses up on that hill too then you got the high school baseball fields right there as well with the softball fields and then you got uh, brand new uh, community center facility here hasn't been used very much yet I think it's starting to open back up now but they haven't really had too many events they're supposed to be building a, a swimming pool and uh, things of that nature as well a community pool somewhere out here but yeah well, there's a walking path oh I didn't notice it before cemetery road kind of goes through the back of uh, back side of Fortuna as well but yeah it's kind of like one of the only uh, uh, it's a private road but it's only a one it's only a 
road, it's the only road that's uh, kind of half dirt, half pavement, you know, like goes through the back side of people's property or whatever. And they say it's a private road, you know, like, so like they don't want like through traffic going through here, you know, and stuff like that. But if you're going to someone's house or whatever, you know, it's all right, you know, it's not like it's no trespassing type of thing. Who's building a new house up here? Big dog. Get him. Somebody's got a firewood business up here too. Yeah, big shout out to Chad Carter. He uh, wants some stickers, but he hasn't sent me his address. Hey, Chad, send me your address so I can send you your stickers. I already got them in the envelope. Appreciate your support. I still have stickers left, guys, so hit me up. If you want them, make sure you send me your address so I can get them in the mail. I sent out uh, California Motorcycles YouTube YouTuber guy. Uh, sent his stickers out in the mail the other day because he sent me his address. So yeah, I get them out as soon as I get your address. So So yeah, that's a little taste of uh, the town I live in. Uh, there's a lot of rural roads and stuff. Uh, you can check out that there's some good views from up there too. There's Scenic Avenue or Scenic Drives up there. I used to live up there, but uh, it overlooked uh, part of the town as well. So yeah. Anyway, whoop, stalled it. Dang it. All right, guys, I'd like to thank all my viewers and subscribers again and for watching my videos and uh, give me thumbs up and all the positive comments I've been getting. Uh, really appreciate it. Makes it worthwhile, you know, to have my channel and keep it rolling along. So, yeah. All right, this is MFR Off-Road Rider. See you on the next one. Later.